Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to some more Lichcraft, where we are going to be carrying on the stuff we did in the last episode, uh, and that is pretty much by us going and making the world that we need to do to move this into. I basically looked up on the wiki what uh, the best way of getting a void world is. should be pretty easy, um, and these all should be craftable. Do I not have... Oh, I need these dimlet templates, which means we need dimensional shards, since we don't have those. Right, so I'm going to have to look up quickly how to get those. That seems like a unfortunate issue that uh, has arisen. Right, so I looked it up. Basically, it seems to only generate in an RF tools world below a Y of 40, uh, which means we are going to have to go into a world that we already have. I'll dig for a while, it's not going to you know, wear out too much, and hopefully we can get some of this stuff and uh, get on to making, or get enough of it and hopefully get on to making this void world in this episode. Well, sadly, we have come into an issue here. Now, I wanted to uh, sort of just go out of this world and maybe just jump into the other one quickly, but I realized something as I, uh, I came up here, and that is, let's go on this transporter. Something is wrong with the destination. Yes, that is trying to send us to the previously set up trans uh, receiver. So we are now going to have to go annoyingly around this world, this um, dungeon world. But we need to find uh, eight redstone, uh, two bits of lapis, some iron, and a bit of gold. And then dialing device or perfectly fine dandy. We're going to throw that there. And uh, it's going to get slowly get power, but we are then going to dial there. I guess that would be the best way of doing it. And hopefully we're home. <laughs> Thank God. What? Oh no! If we if we even had one, we could use the digital miner, or I could use it digital miner via ID. So I'm going to actually try that. It's been a very long time, as you can see. I have uh, been mining for quite a bit. Uh, I've actually just come down to the level 12 one because I thought, why not try it? And I finally, after a very long time, have got one dimensional shard ore, which is actually all I need. The reason it's all I need is because this now allows me to put that into my uh, digital miner and it will just search around the place for the uh, for all the you know dimensional shard ore. Oh, less than a stack of the stuff is around this place. That is very, very interesting. Right, so, been a while, been a bit of time since uh, I was on. It's actually been about a day or so since I last logged on, but you may be wondering why I'm zoomed in currently and you can't see anything, and that is because upon logging on, I found out we have been pranked. I was very confused when I first... I actually thought somehow, like, this was just, uh, like, actual clouds. But yeah, I thought it was uh, just, like, clouds. That had, like, you know, like clouds had turned on and something like that. But no, this is actually from Chisel 2, uh, which is a cloud in a bottle, uh, which is actually fairly cheap. And what I can infer from that is it could have either been space or... not sp Well, it could have been space, actually. It could have been either space, flame, or chrono. I think less likely to be space because he's been having issues even getting to my area. Uh, he does apparently uh, crash whenever he gets close to my area, which is a bit of a worry. But yeah, this um, is a bit of an interesting thing. So we are going to have to get rid of these. I don't know if we can just pick them up like that. And maybe we can use the digital miner uh, for this. That might be a good idea. If I could get into my terminal, which I can't because I do want to come down here. Seems that potentially it says station cannot be found, so I don't know. I can't click on any of my stuff because apparently <laughs> that's weird. Okay, I can get rid of it though. This should hopefully work. If I do that, and then I can just relink my terminal. There we go. So I think there's a potential that Chrono or whoever did it. Um, Destroy this and replaced it. That might have been a thing. 
Um, or it might just be bugging out. Right, so I have finally got rid of the stuff and also found the dimlets that we need. So that's all fine and dandy. Well, I say I've nearly finished. I am just doing this last one. I'm just going to let the uh, digital miner do that one. Yeah, we're just going to go and throw this one into the dimension inscriber. And uh, I want to kind of make sure that I get them in the correct order that I've written them in. Just because in case there is an order, I want to make sure that I have done everything correctly. Creation cost is quite a lot and maintenance cost is also a ton. Look at that. Um, that is definitely um, <laughs> a lot there. Actually it's kind of interesting that the void world with nothing in it um, costs more but I guess that's the point is you're making sure that you can't do anything. And then I'm gonna basically make sure I have a dialing device with me. And apparently I... Did he use my... Did they use my system? It's actually the first time I've gone in the system since I was here, other than the wireless animal. Did they use my system? Let's have a look at quartz. I swear I threw out the spec. Like, I had three quartz or something, so I threw it out. So, so I feel like someone... That might have been what I was on about with the... Because the security terminal, the only way someone could get in that was not me is by destroying the security terminal, like I did, uh, when it locked me out. So... Um, I guess they must have, whoever came over here possibly used my system to prank me, which is interesting. I guess I should make that security terminal a bit safer if I could. But yeah, uh, we need to make a dialing device. Let's transmit ID5 dial there, and then we're going to come over to here. Hope that everything is fun and dandy, and here we have a nearly void world. <laughs> Okay, uh, get rid of this, I guess. Oh, it's not even got liquid in it. Oh my god! I guess that makes sense, since it's trying to spawn every mob, and... Uh, and, like, there's only one area. I, was it me, or did I see something drop? But I'm actually going to get rid of this thing after this episode, and then I am going to start moving everything back. That guy's... What are you doing? And then we uh, can get on to moving this thing uh, into that world, especially once the, uh, the cloud's gone as well. And then we're going to obviously put the molecular assemblers, as we said. So that's actually going to be it for the end of the episode. Um, we still need to... Two things we need to do, though. One, we need to still prank Chrono. And second, uh, we need to find out who did this and then prank them back. Uh, I don't actually think it was Chrono because um, a couple of reasons. I think he would use his own stuff uh, at first, and also, especially because I know he's got quartz being made, and also, I think he does, might be lava berries, um, and also I think he would leave a sign like he did when he covered us in, um, you know, inverted skyblocks, he left a little sign here. So I don't know who did it. Maybe it was Chrono, maybe it wasn't, um, but I guess, you know, we're going to have to prank. I guess we might as well find a reason to prank everybody, so we have to do that and then think of the stuff. But that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.